Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Andrew Warren, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing Tesla stock and also some recent plays that I made with this stock in the market today. So that does include a $1,000 purchase. And so with that, I will be talking about my justification for this purchase, how I'm currently feeling about the market right now, and more specifically, how I'm feeling about the future of Tesla and the short-term future as well. So anyways, as always, if y'all do enjoy these videos, where I update you on my recent purchases and simply talk about Tesla stock, then please make sure to smash that like button. It really does help me out. And we're actually seeing an even bigger drop in the stock price in the after hours right now than it was at previously. As you can see in the after hours, it started out at around minus 0.71% at 4.05. And then now currently, just a little bit later in the after hours, it's at minus 3.68%. So we've lost 10.34% today in the normal market market hours. Let's actually address the share price first. So that's minus $43.87 off of the share price. And then we lost another 3.78% in the after hours, which is another $14.09 off of the share price as well. So over $55 lost from the share price just today alone for Tesla stock. And so as you can see from my portfolio as well, it has definitely taken a big hit at around $21,000 in losses. So it seems like so far, as I'm speaking right now, the after hours just keeps getting worse and worse. So it's at minus 3.81% right now. So I'm actually hoping that we have another big red day for tomorrow like today. I know for some people that may have just bought in and aren't really used to how long-term investing works, that may sound a little bit crazy. But basically, I look at the red days as a huge opportunity, especially when it's a huge red day like today with Tesla stock at around minus 14% almost currently if you count the after hours. So this three $366 price tag is definitely attractive to me and I'm working on getting some money transferred tomorrow to purchase some more stock but I want to show you all my receipts for today for a recent purchase so like I said I spent $1,000 on Tesla stock today and so just to show you all that receipt that was two hours ago at 3 23 p.m. and so I, I dropped that 1k on there as you can see that was around 2.6098 shares at a share price of $383.16 since. So since this point in time, the share price has actually gone down like another almost $20 since I made that purchase. I'm completely okay with that because as you all know, I dollar cost average anyways. But the only reason that I was actually able to spend this $1,000 on Tesla today was because of the fact that I have margin with Robinhood Gold. So the good thing about me having Robinhood Gold is of course, the main reason that I buy it is so I can show you all basically like the fair values and the Robinhood research reports that come with this every month. I basically just spend the $5 every month so I can show you all like the Robinhood gold research reports for Tesla and other stocks that we discuss as well. So honestly, I just purchased Robinhood gold for the channel. So we have that extra information for me to talk about, but there is a benefit to that in the sense that like I said in previous videos, as you all know, I have an issue right now with my current transfer from my checking account from the bank. Basically, I got an account deficit where I tried to withdraw some money and I had so many transfers going back and forth in the checking that when it withdrew it for Robinhood there wasn't any left or there wasn't the amount that I wanted to transfer left so it ended up having a deficit in Robinhood I had to take care of the deficit and I finally got that transferred through today so the deficit was taken care of today and so I thought after the deficit had been taken care of I would have access to instant transfer today but apparently now it is restricted instant transfer is restricted until October 2nd so so what happened today was I transferred the money, but I'm not going to get it until tomorrow. But if I had instant transfer unrestricted, then I would have actually been able to transfer it today and actually buy it earlier this morning. But honestly, at this time, it's actually seeming like a good thing that my instant transfer was restricted because I probably would have bought Tesla stock around 930 when it was at like minus 4.51% instead of when it's at like minus 13%. So as you all know, I bought Tesla stock at around like 3 something p.m. So let's just say it was minus 10% at that point. So I did take advantage of Tesla at minus 10%. But the reason that I was able to do that is because of Robinhood Gold. And so like I said, I buy Robinhood Gold so I can have this extra information for these videos for you all. But there's actually an advantage to this as well in which you can borrow $1,000 on margin. And as long as you don't borrow anything over $1,000, you don't have to pay any interest 
interest fee because basically your fee for that is what you pay for Robinhood Gold every month, which is $5. So anything over $1,000 is like a 5% annual interest fee. So I actually took advantage of this today because I know my $3,300 transfer is supposed to go through tomorrow. It's not an instant transfer. Like I said, it took like an extra day or so, but I know that's supposed to go through tomorrow. So this $1,000 will be covered with no issue. And I'm not going to have to pay any sort of interest on it since I maxed the limit at 1000 so I won't have to ever pay any interest. It won't ever let me go over 1000 unless I change the borrowing limit. So I actually utilized Robinhood Gold Margin today to use this no interest $1,000 margin to actually buy some Tesla stock. So this will be addressed tomorrow. Like I said, when my transfer comes in, I'll have the margin paid for once again. But this is something that I may actually consider utilizing more in the future because it actually really worked out well for me today. And obviously it's down even more in after hours. So it's probably a good thing that I wasn't able to borrow more than $1,000 without any interest. So it might have actually helped me out with my instant transfers being restricted if we do see another big red day for Tesla tomorrow. But today was just one of those days where it was kind of unlucky where I had to deal with the whole account deficit. And so I finally dealt with that. And now my transfer should be going through tomorrow. And then I also, like I said, I utilized margin to buy some Tesla stock today. And also before I thought about the idea of actually using margin and realized it, I actually just to show you how desperate I was to get Tesla stock on sale. I sold like a, a free stock for $3.33 and then I just invested it in a fractional share of Tesla. It was like 0.0087 shares at a share price of $381.49. So that's just an example of kind of like how desperate I was to just get any small amount of Tesla that I could at that point considering the 10% discount. Now that I've explained this whole transfer process and how I actually purchased some shares today, I just want to talk about some justification. Of course, in the short term, I think this is a great opportunity to actually get Tesla stock on sale. I still think there could be a significant pullback over just the time period between now and the next major event, which would likely be the Q3 earnings report for Tesla. So I think we could see even more of a pullback where Tesla possibly goes even lower than this current share price right now. I think that's definitely a possibility, but I'm simply just dollar cost averaging as usual, buying when I do see a good deal and not trying to get too greedy to the point to where I try to time the perfect bottom of Tesla stock and end up missing out on an actual discount. So at this point in time, once I get this transferred through tomorrow, I'm probably just going to spend the rest on Tesla. Whatever price it is at that point, I'm just going to buy more of Tesla. And so that's just the dollar cost averaging strategy. That's something that I like to do. And honestly, it has worked out pretty well for me so far, just over this past year all time. Same thing, considering that I started investing last December, December 2nd. I've made 51.57% or $45,523.02 just by dollar cost averaging. So really nothing special when it comes to my buying strategies other than the fact that I buy when I have cash and especially on days like today, I try to take advantage of them by buying aggressively, which I couldn't buy as aggressively as I wanted to today, but it looks like so far that it may turn out well for me tomorrow in which we might see another pretty big red day and then that's when I'll have my cash transferred. And I'll honestly may consider using margin tomorrow. Even if I use my $3,300 and pay off margin, I may consider using margin once again for that extra $1,000 invested because I think this is a pretty solid price to get in. And obviously I might use margin and end up, you know, buying Tesla stock and it going even lower where if I would have just waited, I would have had a better opportunity. But that's something that I'm going to definitely have to think about. I still don't know if I'm going to decide to use that just yet. That's honestly just me spitballing and thinking of different ideas of how I could come up with more funding for Tesla stock in the meantime. But I think today is a, a great discount for a company that is set to achieve a, a lot of great things in the future. And so we recently got the announcements with Battery Day. That was absolutely huge. People are just underestimating that information, I think, or at least not reading into it as much as they should. It just shows us how far ahead Tesla is against the rest of the competition. Even Elon Musk himself basically scoffed at the idea of ICE vehicles even having a chance. And he stated that pretty much much every other company is going to have to copy what Tesla has done so far or they pretty much risk going bankrupt and not even having a chance against Tesla. So at this point in time, Tesla has the revolutionary design and if companies want to compete, they're going to basically just have to copy that design and do exactly what Tesla's doing. Otherwise, they're not going to be cost competitive at Tesla's level. And then we also got the announcement of the Plaid Model S. That was just a nice cherry on top in terms of like a nice addition to the event. But overall, I think this is a great opportunity 
opportunity for me to buy in today, especially given the fact that there has been a lot of hype around this event and a lot of hype around the stock split to the point where we're finally getting a healthy pullback in my opinion. As I've mentioned in previous videos, days like today really don't bother me because days like today are, are days where I actually start trying to figure out how I can get more money and start buying shares at a discount price. So really the only thing that bothered me about today is not the drop. It's about the fact that I couldn't get all of my money to purchase this stock on such a big drop day. So that's really where all of my frustrations have come from today with the market. And it's not even really with the market. It's with just this whole Robin Hood situation. But at this point, it could be like a blessing in disguise in which we might see a, a bigger loss day tomorrow. And I'm able to take advantage of that with some cash left. So anyways, I think the battery day event was absolutely huge. And people just hyper focused on the fact that some of these products wouldn't be produced at a massive scale and high production levels until like 2022 or 2023. So people clearly aren't willing to wait for the long term for Tesla. Two to three years isn't even long term, to be honest. 10 plus years, 20 plus years, that's long term. So we have a lot of investors that either may think they're long term investors or they realize that they're a short term investor and they just don't have the patience to wait until 2022 or 2023. So I think that's why we're seeing a little bit of a sell off. But like I said, at this point, I don't know where the share price will be in the short term. I'm really confident that it will do very well in the long term, but the short term is another story. And these are situations where I can actually take advantage of a pretty big drop day. And that's exactly what I tried to do today. So anyways, I just wanted to share some justification for why I'm purchasing Tesla stock. As I've reiterated many, many times in different videos, Tesla is just a company pretty much with no competition at this point in time. They currently, even disregarding the battery day situation and everything like that, they currently have advantages in vertical integration, in scale, they have advantages in software, the, the battery technology in terms of like how they organize it and the thermodynamics and things like that. And then also a huge advantage in autonomy data as well. So I keep these three major factors into consideration as well when I'm thinking about purchasing Tesla stock. This is something that I already realized. And so this new information about battery day was huge. It wasn't really new in the sense that we didn't have any prior knowledge about it beforehand. I have to admit a lot of us were knowledgeable about a lot of this information on battery day just because of the fact that it had been leaked. And we saw that article by Electric where it showed the new Tesla battery cell. So with battery day in terms of like if you kept up with news information prior to the event, it wasn't really a lot of new information other than the fact that it basically confirmed some of the leaks and some of the rumors. But still, it was huge in itself and we got a lot of information that we didn't get prior to the event in terms of like rumors and news. And that was like the details on the five different aspects of the battery architecture that they improved. So in my personal opinion, this is a fantastic time to buy Tesla stock for those investors that are investing for the long term. And I mean long term as in 10 plus years, 20 plus years. And so that's of course just my personal opinion. Nothing that I say or have said in this video is to be considered financial advice. But I just wanted to share with you all my receipts for my purchases today. I spent like $1,003.33 on Tesla stock. But anyways, please make sure to smash that like button if you all enjoyed the video. And also feel free to check out Robin Hood and Weeble in the description below. If you sign up with my referral link, you'll get some free stocks. And especially with Weeble right now, you can get a free stock valued up to $1,400. And all you have to do to get that is sign up with my referral link and deposit $100 into your account. Keep in mind, you can take that $100 right back out after you get your free stock. So it's basically just nice passive income. Just want to let you all know about that. But hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week.